Hey guys, and welcome to the first video in our WX Python layout series. Okay, we had a previous introductory series, uh, sorry, an introductory video where we discussed absolute positioning and stuff. But this is the first proper video where we discuss the sizers. Okay, so the first sizer that we're going to start off with is the box sizer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the logic for the box sizer is pretty simple. Okay, it uh, we, when we create it, we give it an orientation, which is either vertical or, or horizontal. If we do vertical, it stacks widgets vertically, okay? Like you add three widgets into it, so it'll basically stack them vertically on top of each other. You make it horizontal, it'll stack them horizontally. That's basically how it is, okay? Now let's go ahead and begin working with it. I'll create it, okay, and give it the name Sizer. Then I'll do wx.boxSizer. Okay, and here I'm going to pass in the orientation, which can be vertical for now. Okay, we'll take a brief look at horizontal later, but it's really just the same concept. Okay, okay, so over here, I'm going to go ahead and create some widgets now, okay, to add into this sizer. But before that, there is one thing that we need to do self.panel.setSizer. Okay, and you know, pass in sizer. What this does is basically tells the panel that this is the sizer that's within it, okay? So this is kind of important. And otherwise, if you don't add this, you'll mess things up severely. So I'm going to begin creating some widgets. I'll create a button widget, button1 is equal to wx.button, okay? And self.panel, okay? Don't mess this up. Don't try using sizer in here, okay? You need to use self.panel, okay? So yeah, don't mess that up. And here I'll write click me, okay, and the position can be, oh, sorry, there is going to be no position, okay, because this is a widget inside a layout, so you don't use absolute positioning here, okay, I'll create a new button, okay, a second button, self.panel and call it, okay, you know what, let's change the labels on these, I'll click, change this to button 1, and change this one to button 2, okay. This will make it easy to differentiate between them. And what I'm going to do now is add them to the sizer. Because it's not enough to just uh, use this command. Okay? What you need to do now is to actually manually add these into the sizer using the add function. Okay? The add function is pretty great. It's also common across all sizers. So you should pay attention to this. Okay? The first parameter is always the widget that you want to add. Okay? And after this, there are three extra parameters that are optional, okay? You can use these to add in a whole bunch of options, but we'll take a look at these later. Let me just show you it in the basic version first, okay? I've added in both of them, okay, into the sizer. I'm going to run it now, and let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Here's our two buttons. Now, let me try something like resizing, okay? It doesn't really change. That's to be expected, actually. We need to actually enable a bunch of options, enable a bunch of settings, and yeah, for this to actually take effect. So, let's, without further ado, let's discuss these extra options. So the first one is called por no, proportion, and its default value is 0. The next one is called flag, and its default value is 0. The next one is called border, and its default value is also 0. Okay, so let's take a look at these three. <sighs> proportion is an interesting command. Okay, when you do it is equal to zero, which is this default value, it says do not change the size of this widget, no matter what happens. Okay, that's what pr proportion zero means, and that's why its size was not changing. Okay, so this is for stuff that you might not want changed when you're resizing the window. Okay, but if I change this to one, Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. And why is this happening? And that's because this is a vertical uh, sizer, right? So basically what's going on is that it's taking up vertical space, okay? Uh, don't worry, I'll show you how to actually, you know, make this look better in a minute, okay? But basically the point is here that if I resize, hold it, if I resize the window, this is going to change accordingly, okay? That's the important thing that I want you to note, okay? Now, what I'm going to do here 
is in the flags, I'm going to say wx.expand. What wx.expand does is uh, allows for the expansion of the widget if there is space. Now watch this. There you go. It's basically occupying all the space that it can possibly take, okay, within its sizer, okay? Because there is nothing inside the window, right? So the sizer is free to expand. Okay, if there was an, another widget, then of course it would stop, but otherwise there is no space, right, there is no space being occupied, so we're free to use this command, okay. So yeah, this is what the expand function does, and now border, okay, border doesn't work alone, okay. If I do something like 5, or sorry, 10, see, you, you don't notice any difference, it looks just the same as normal. So what you need to do actually is specify a flag as well. Okay, there are a bunch of options here. You can do wx.write, in which case you'll notice some padding to, to the right. Okay, that's 10 pixels worth of padding to the right. You can do left, okay, like that. You can do left and right, okay. So pretty cool, but of course that's a real pain. Who's gonna sit down there and do, you know, uh, wx left, wx right, wx bottom, wx top, you can just use wx all and this does this. It adds padding on all sides. Pretty cool, right? So yeah, that's uh, pretty effective. So this is basically what the three parameters are, okay? I think I've described them fairly well at this point. I think you guys have understood what they're for. There are a bunch of different other options, by the way. There's stuff like align center and stuff, okay? If you want to align it to the center of its, um, you know, sizer. So let's try that actually in the one down here. Flag is equal to WX align center. And run this. And there you go. Look at that. It's within the center. Okay. Pretty cool, right? This is all stuff that we can do. It's all great stuff. Okay. Look at this. I can just change the size of this and it again and this is basically always in the center no matter what I do okay so this is some good stuff okay this is we know that we can take a look at this and be like this is what we need, we need to be doing for our layouts okay we need to be creating our layouts in such a way that we change the size we change whatever okay things will remain constant okay so yeah this is basically what the box sizer is okay and there is still more to take a look at okay we're not done here okay there's still more more that we need to discuss Okay, basically what I want to show you guys is something called nested sizers because honestly speaking, the box sizer by itself is way too simple. Okay, you cannot create any meaningful layouts with the box sizer. Okay, and that's almost a fact. But if you take the box sizer and you combine them, you take several box sizers, nest them within each other, you can create some really cool stuff. Okay, I'll show you guys a very simple example here. Okay, okay, basically, um, let's just remove this stuff because we don't really need this anymore. Let's remove this too. Let's start from scratch. I'll call this one the main sizer. Then I'm going to create two sub sizers sub sizer one, sub sizer two. Okay. I hope you guys bear with me here and please you know, pay attention. You guys will hopefully understand what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm gonna do horizontal. Okay, create two of these horizontally. Okay, so basically what our layout currently looks right now, there is a word, oh, hold on, hold on, big mistake. I need to add these into our sizer first. I'm gonna go ahead and add these in, okay? And by the way, the same parameters still apply. I can still use proportion, I can still use flag, I can still use border. Okay, we'll take a look at those later though. Then we add in subsizer 2. Okay. And by the way, don't underestimate this, you know, nested sizer ability. Because trust me, I don't think there's a single layout out there that, you know, a single proper GUI out there that relies on just one sizer. Okay. If you want to make something meaningful, if you want to make something big, you would typically need more than one sizer, okay? Uh, using one sizer is probably only uh, passable on simple stuff, okay? 
at, at any rate, let's go ahead and uh, do some more stuff. Okay, this is just our customization code where we create the sizers and where we add the sizers in. Okay. What I want to create is a simple login kind of page. Okay, I'm going to create two texts. Okay, uh, this is going to be a WX static text widget. Self.panel as the parent label is username. Okay, and I'll copy this real quick. This can be password. Okay, and this can be text too. Then I want to create two entry widgets. I'll sorry, not entry widgets. They're called um, I'll just call them text three and text four. Okay, text control self dot panel. Okay, that's pretty much it. Text four is equal to wx dot text control self dot panel. Okay, let me run this. Okay, hold on. I didn't add them in. Okay, this is, this is basically what happens when you don't add them in properly. Okay, they look like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add them in. Okay, how do I want to add these in now? Okay, basically what I want to do is in subsizer one, I want to add the text one widget. Okay, and I want to add the text three widget. In subsizer two, I want to add text two and I want to add text four. Let's run this and see what happens. This is basically what I'm going for. Okay. You cannot achieve this effect on a regular uh, sizer, on a, on a simple box sizer, on just one box sizer. It's not possible. You need to use this kind of format where you create one vertical sizer, which is, is basically it's just, just there to contain all the other sizers. Okay. It's like the sizer to contain all other size sizers. Okay, then you create a bunch of other sizers within it. Okay, for simple patterns. Now, of course, this looks terrible. Okay, this looks really bad. Okay, there's no way that I would ever want to see, to see a login page like that. So we're going to go ahead and customize this a bit. The first thing I'm going to do is go here and add in some borders. Okay, sorry, I mean right here. I'll do flag is equal to wx dot all and then border is equal to five. Okay, and just copy this over here. Now let's run this. And okay, this looks already better. Okay, let's just go ahead and change this to 10. No harm in doing that. Okay, that looks fine. Okay, now I want some padding in between these widgets as well, because they're like practically glued to each other right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is come over here and just copy this over here, the same flags. Okay, and just change the border down a bit to five. Okay, and now it looks a lot better. See, this looks perfectly fine, honestly. This looks like a reasonable uh, login page, okay, where I could uh, log in, add in my details, okay. So, yeah, pretty much it. There's one more thing that let's take a look at. Let's take a look at something else. Uh, let's take a look at some of the other parameters, actually. For example, what if I wanted these text widgets to be able to expand? Okay, so I'll do something like proportion is equal to one. Then I would add in the WX expand option. Okay, and let me just copy this over directly into this one over here. Let me run this and whoa, why not? Oh, of course. The reason why this didn't expand is because you need to actually apply the same settings on the subsizer. Okay, because basically, even if the even though the widget and subsizer two and one, even though those widgets are ready to you know grow larger, the problem is that the um, the main sizer isn't allowing those subsizers to increase. So if the subsizer doesn't inc increase in size, the widget inside of it won't be able to increase in size either. So that's kind of the problem here. So what I need to do is go here and say proportion is equal to one. And then flag is equal to wx dot expand. Then I'll just copy this over into here. Run this. And there we go. That kind of looks a bit weirdish, honestly. Uh, let me see if I can modify that a bit. Maybe like this. Hold on. Mm, nope. 
well that doesn't look exactly how I wanted to, to go really maybe if I did something like oh, oh well never mind it looks good enough okay like if you're doing something other than username and password like maybe com address okay and feedback this would actually make more sense over here okay so yeah so yeah there's a lot to sizers okay there's more to it than what i just described here okay there's more stuff that you can do you can take a look at there's more functions more styles and flags and stuff okay so be sure to do some research of your, of your own if you're really into sizers otherwise what i just what i just did here is basically give you a really good intro that should help you out okay oh and just one more thing I just wanted to mention that you can do a simpler way of doing things if if you like it. You can do this and just remove that and just add this directly in here. Okay? So this way you can sort of shorten the number of lines. Okay? If you want to do it that way, go ahead. Okay? No one's stopping you. It uh, I've seen both approaches. Okay? So it's totally up to you. Okay? So yeah. Subscribe if you guys want to follow up on the next few videos. Okay? The next few sizers that we take a look at and yeah leave us comment leave some feedback in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the later video